Enzo, first of all, have you caught your breath yet? Because that was an incredible afternoon, wasn't it? Yeah, very good, very good. I think uh, uh, the game was uh, exactly the way we planned. Uh, I said many times, uh, we can do many things better, we can attack better, we can defend better. But overall, I think the performance was good and we deserve to win. Have you ever known, as a coach, a first half like that today? It was, uh, was quite uh, intense. We conceded the first one and then, then the team continued in the same way. We created many chances. Then we conceded the second one that for me it's more uh, about to read the moment better because we were one nil down, we scored 3-1 up. We don't need to take any risk in that moment. And the action starts with Malo that take risk and then Robert. In that moment, we don't, we don't need to take risk. But the good thing is, as I said, from now on, we are going to consider more goal like this. But it's just part of the way we want to play. As a coach, how difficult is in-game management when it is a, a game like that? Because it was end-to-end -end at times, wasn't it? Yeah, I think uh, second half was much, much better in mm. terms of control the game. We didn't concede nothing second half. Probably first half we consider a bit more, also because they surprised us a little bit in the way they were playing. Uh, we prepared the pressing in different ways, so we struggled to adjust a little bit. And then I think first half, second half, sorry, we completely controlled the game. A word on Cole Palmer. It wasn't a bad first half, but you were saying you could have even scored more, couldn't you? Yeah. No, he scored four, he could score more. No, but uh, I said many times for Cole, the most important thing is that uh, he enjoy football. He has not to feel the pressure in his shoulder that he has to score or assist every game. He has just to be, just to enjoy football. Uh, and cool, you can see that uh, he loves he loves football. He certainly does. You've known him a long time. How special a talent do you think he is? He's, he's, he's top. Uh, you can see you can see that. But the best thing he has for me is that uh, he's a very simple guy. In the way he was three four years ago. He's exactly in the same way, never change, doesn't change, even if he scores goal, don't score goal. He's always the simple guy, very good boy, and this is the most important thing. He'll obviously get the headlines today, but elsewhere, people like Nicholas Jackson gave everything. He didn't get his goal, but what did he give to the overall team performance today? Yeah, Nicholas was uh, attacking behind many, many times. He had many, many chances, he missed, but uh, the, no matter. The most important thing is to create chances, and then at the end, we are going to score goals. Finally, we've spoken about the bond with the supporters before here at Stamford Bridge. What does a performance and a result like this do for that bond moving forward? No, the, the, the thing that they have to understand is that uh, we need these kind of games where we also make some mistake because uh, it's, it's, it's part of the, our, our way, our process. And then at the end we, we win. But uh, I, was, I was very happy today to share with them three points. Carl, first of all, congratulations. Where to start? What an afternoon. How are you feeling? Yeah, delighted with the three points especially and the four goals. Not bad, it's not a bad afternoon. An incredible first half. I mean, you are the first player to score four in a Premier League game. I mean, it, what does that mean to you? Yeah, it's a good start. <laughs> I didn't even know that was true, to be fair, but yeah, I'm happy about it. It was an incredible game. It was end to end. It felt like that first half could have been anything. What was it like to play it? Yeah, it was a good game. Brighton are a good team. They set up well, they passed the ball about well, so we needed to be on it. The manager gave us a good game plan and I think it worked. Obviously they scored early. How pleased were you with the response? Because it was immediate, wasn't it? Yeah, we started slow, but we knew we would get chances. It's just about taking them. On another day we could have scored eight or nine. Me and myself just could have scored a few more. You know, probably players had chances, but it's a really good point because before, obviously, the first goal, you hit the post, had one disallowed, then got your first goal in about two and a half minutes. It was just blood and thunder end to end. It was crazy. No, yeah, like I said, it was a game, exciting game, loads of chances. But yeah, we need to we need to get from, uh, win more games, and frankly, thankfully, we got three points today. Four incredible goals, four very different goals. Tell us about the free kick though for the hat trick because that was something special. <laughs> yeah, it was. I thought it was a bit too far out, but. Clearly it wasn't. <laughs> and where does that rank among the best you've, you've scored? Yeah, up there. Definitely. <laughs> an amazing afternoon, an incredible atmosphere. What does this do for the bond between the players and the fans? Yeah, you know, the fans are top. They're always good, to be fair. So hopefully we put performances like that and they keep, keep singing. It was an incredible performance. How much are you enjoying playing under Enzo Maresco? Yeah, yeah you know, I know Enzo from obviously my time at City. Everyone knows how much of a good manager he is, and I think everyone will. We'll see it too. 
and the open, expansive, attacking play. And there are so many attacking threats in this team, aren't there? Yeah, there's loads of players, even the ones that are not starting, starting, like everyone knows what they're doing, so yeah, it's good. Early days, but do you feel like you're building some momentum here this season? Yeah, if we keep winning, we keep building, so that's what we're trying to do.